Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cooker and this is another episode from the Kiwi's Tinker Crate. Uh, we have another box in today. And uh, as you can see, it does say flying disc machine. And uh, something they do say, they give you a little warning right here on the box. And it says, uh, do not point this uh, at your eyes or face. So uh, obviously this is gonna be kind of shooting little projectiles. Obviously they're supposed to be little discs. Uh, but you want to make sure that you're careful. You don't want to injure yourself or someone else. Let's go ahead and open the box, see what parts we've got, and then get to building. All right, everybody. Well, here we go. We've got a handful of things right here. Of course, all the little parts, the instructions, and the Tinker Zine. We'll go ahead and check out the Tinker Zine here first. And uh, this, of course, is going to explain kind of some of the science and uh, physics behind this. First thing it shows you there is a... Uh, a flying disc which is also known commonly as a frisbee uh, we also have of course a few other things it shows you some different variations on that uh, they talk about oh, angle and trajectory and things like that how it flies why it flies the way it does uh, things of that nature and uh, then it shows you some other things in here uh, things to build uh, it has some target it says target practice there so you know something to aim at and uh, gives you some other places, even uh, their YouTube channel there. So if you want to check out uh, the Kiwi Company and uh, the Kiwi Crates and Tinker Crates and everything, you can go check out their YouTube channel. All right, now we've got a few parts. The first one here we're looking at uh, looks like a laminated uh, laser etched wood piece. And uh, there's some circles in there. And then there's also, if you can't quite see them, there's some uh, clear plastic pieces in here. Uh, we have a, uh, well, a little motor piece with a battery and the battery box there. We have uh, a couple little uh, plastic pieces. This one looks to be like a gear, and the other one is, uh, well, something else. I'm not quite sure what that's for, but we'll find out here in a second. Uh, we have some, uh, what looks like uh, plastic screws and uh, spacers and uh, little nuts and everything. So uh, I'm sure everything to hold it together. And then we've got uh, some other things. We've got some foam stickies here. Looks like we've got our flying discs uh, and some other foam stickies. So a few different things in that aspect. And then we've got our little thing for the flying disc. Oh, there we go. So gives you kind of an idea on how it works. You can see it kind of flying out right there. And uh, we've got, of course, a picture of the actual thing as it's built right there. And uh, these are, of course, all the pieces that are uh, inside. And then when we open it up, we, of course, have our instructions for all of the build. And uh, not real complicated, it doesn't look like, but uh, there are a handful of pieces. So let's uh, go ahead and uh, start pulling stuff out of the bags and we'll get building.
Okay, everybody, well, we've got it all built. Uh, we have uh, some of our discs here. I, I already dropped one of them, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave, since there's six of them, we'll have uh, three of them with the little hole cut out, and then uh, we'll go ahead and have three of them that are still solid. Uh, I'm sure these will pop out sooner or later, but that's just fine when they do. Now, as you can see, we do have these screws here on the bottom, and uh, the screws here do, of course, adjust for the elevation, uh, kind of how high, uh, on what angle it's shooting. But then it'll also uh, adjust for the kind of the cant or the tilt. So you can adjust it going side to side. So if it's flying and it's flying off one direction or off the other, you can of course adjust it and uh, kind of get it to tilt a little bit different so that you can get it to fly straight or in the direction that you want wherever your uh, little uh, target or whatever it is that you're shooting is. Alright, so let's go ahead and try it out. Uh, I've got a little kind of stopper over here on the side and uh, I'm going to kind of raise this up a little bit so that we can uh, kind of hit that. I'm sure it's going to bounce off, but uh, at least this way it'll, it'll kind of uh, give us a rough idea. So let's go ahead with the, the clear one or the ones with the holes in it here and just, woo, that was quick very fast and I don't even know if you guys can see that shooting out of there or not uh, you see it a little bit I think uh, this thing is spinning really fast so it's shooting these out pretty hard there we go good okay we're getting it to catch it on the table here There we go, and that one fell off. But uh, definitely that's why they said not to uh, aim this at somebody's face or anything, because these do fly out really hard. You can probably hear it hitting the cardboard uh, through the microphone there, even though this is a little ways behind it. Uh, and uh, these do fly out really, really quick. Anyhow, this is a pretty nice nice build overall. I, pretty simple uh, not not real involved but the the concept behind it is really cool if you guys want to check this out of course you can go down there in the description below we will have a link to a tinker crate and a and kiwi crate down there as well as we have our links to our social media and on your way down or on your way back up don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and if you haven't done so already go ahead and hit the subscribe buttons either the ones down here in the corners uh, those little icons or that red button down there below the video and uh, when you do that don't forget to hit that little bell icon you ring that bell and it'll notify you when we got new videos coming out here on world of me all right guys well my name's cougar i'd like to wish you all a good day and i will see you later bye